Sexagesima Sunday. The Lord's Day within 60 days of Easter. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. A sower went out to sow his seed, and so on. Homily by Pope Saint Gregory the Great, on the Gospels. Dearly beloved brethren, the passage from the Holy Gospel which ye have just heard, needeth not so much that I should explain it, as that I should seek to enforce its lesson. The truth himself hath explained it, and, after that, it beseemeth not man's frailty to fritter away his exposition by any further comment. But there is, in that very explanation by the Lord, somewhat, which it behoveth us well to weigh. If it were but we who bade you believe that by the seed is signified the word. By the field, the world. By the birds, the devils. And by the thorns, riches ye would perchance doubt of the truth of our explanation. Therefore the Lord himself hath vouchsafed to give this explanation, and that, not for this parable only, but that ye may know in what manner to interpret others, whereof he hath not given the meaning. Beginning his explanation, the Lord saith that he speaketh in parables. Hereby he doth certify us, when our weakness would unveil to you the hidden meaning of his words. If I spake of myself, who would believe me when I say that riches are thorns? Thorns prick but riches lull to rest. And yet riches are indeed thorns, for the anxiety they bring is a ceaseless pricking to the minds of their owners, and, if they lead into sin, they are thorns which bloodily tear the soul. But we understand from another evangelist, St. Matthew, that in this place the Lord speaketh, not of riches themselves, but of the deceitfulness of riches. Those riches are deceitful riches, which can be ours only for a little while, those riches are deceitful riches, which cannot relieve the poverty of our souls. They are the only true riches, which make us rich in virtues. If then, dearly beloved brethren, ye seek to be rich, earnestly desire the true riches. If ye would be truly honorable, strive after the kingdom of heaven. If ye love the bravery of titles, hasten to have your names written down at court above, where angels are. Take to heart the Lord's words which your ear heareth. The food of the soul is the word of God, when the stomach is sick it throweth up again the food which is put into it, and so is the soul sick when a man heareth and digesteth not in his memory the word of God. And if any man cannot keep his food, that man's life is in desperate case. In nomine patris, et filiae, et spiritus sanctae. Amen.